Uh, I don't know what song to start with today. Ooh, a little Johnny Cash. Is Johnny Cash a little bit too, like... I love this song. Oh, God. I don't think it's what I want to start with today, though. Shit. Um... I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Wait. No! I, you know, fuck it. Fine. Whatever. It works. It, it's, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's, you know, Johnny Cash. Why not? Uh. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are we doing today? I hope we're doing well. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, maybe, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, I made it. I'm here. I'm a, I'm a couple minutes late. I definitely did sleep in. I got my, uh, I got my, my weighted blanket. I forgot I had it. And I finally, like, unraveled it. It's been sitting in the corner of my room for a bit. And I'm like, you know, I should really try this thing out and just use it. And I'm glad I did, because I, I, I slept. But, bro, what the fuck? That train horn is so annoying. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Well, we're here. We made it. Hope everyone's doing well today. Doing good. Happy weekends to all of you. Hopefully your weekends have been good. Been exciting. You've gone out and done stuff. Don't know what that's like. <laughs> I don't leave my house. Uh, all right. What do we got today? We got, we got to call John Paul if he's around. We got to, I don't know. There, there's a couple, there's a couple things on the agenda that I got to do, but it, it, it's really going to depend on, uh, on if there's an opportunity to, um, I guess, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Thank you, Shang, for the 41 months. Slept the daylight away if, if that counts. Trying to, you know what's crazy is I don't see the sun anymore. I don't I don't know what the sun looks like. I don't I don't uh Blah. Howdy Howdy How you doing? Uh okay. Um I let me know when you have a minute. I spoke with Oliver Hall today. Oh did you? Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 good. What's up? Um We'll, we'll we'll step out into the the command corner, because <laughs> I feel like every captain just stands in this fucking corner. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's um, up? Um. So immediately into a conversation to talk about what was going on. I chat. Um. Mm. He kind of had a good point. Um. So basically, I told him like how we feel about it. You know how we're not convinced uh based on one statement a statement in which basically everything that he says is uh the the, the report the trial there wasn't really any new information mm. um oliver did make a good point though he said that regardless the statement creates reasonable doubt um and so in his head uh if there is reasonable doubt um he ethically he doesn't feel that he could prosecute um which frankly when he put it that way does kind of make sense um because that was the whole point of our investigation the first time was to find some kind of doubt um to, you know the reason why this happened to murphy what's up with you? hello than, hi electric you know, how you doing beef he gotta wake it. up somewhere else i do beat him um, you smell i love you how you doing we now do we even though it for whatever reason it may or may not be true Beetle, are you going to twitch gun jean paul might be lying about the whole thing there's still now doubt that uh for the the guilty conviction um he said to oh, oh my that. god no, I don't even care who it is. I just, I'm on duty five minutes and I'm already getting phone calls. <laughs> Go ahead. He said that um, we should, you know, still continue our investigation. Oh, let's go. Still try to talk to Jean-Paul. Try to determine whether or not Jean-Paul is lying. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, 
the, the, the we have found out or the defense has finally found a defense for him okay and that you know he he would probably move towards uh not contesting the appeal so he based, feels based on based on the um based on the doubt that this has now created so my my only question is since the report is on the docket does he still feel like yes even though it's there and there is doubt would he not feel inclined to some degree that anybody could have come forward after reading the, the report no, that's not and, public and i brought that up to him and he did say that um he you know john paul is not necessarily a credible source uh and that he could be be very well lying about the whole thing um and that but I don't know. This is just coming from him that if we do decide to contest the appeal, he won't want to prosecute. Pro yeah. He probably wouldn't um, ethically feel okay with prosecuting it. But he did say that we should still conduct our investigation, still try to talk to Jean Paul and see if, um, see what he says. I don't know, poke holes in, in his statement. Okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm inclined to I mean look let me ask you this. Do you do you do you think that we should? Should what? Follow through with what Oliver is saying. What, not contest the appeal? Yeah. Uh, I think that we should do what we were initially going to do, speak to Jean Paul and then make a decision from there. Um I do I do think that it is important to recognize that the, through this whole thing, I think um even before the guilty tr conviction, we were we were on the fence on whether or not Murphy actually did this. At least I was. Like the evidence in front of us showed that he did it but i don't know again maybe it was biases on on maybe particularly my part um was skeptical uh i couldn't see a motive there other than you know he, he was drunk and i don't know people do stupid shit when they're drunk i guess um i i don't know it's it's really it's been back and forth um I feel like John Paul does have a a motive to do this, but again, it it goes back to the the fact that he he didn't present anything that we didn't already know that wasn't public knowledge. So, I do take what he says with a grain of salt. But I I don't know. I if if he had come forward and confessed um, before the statute of limitations, hey, what's up, Alex? How you doing? What's up, Scooter? Would we have questioned it? Probably not. I think we would we would have taken it at face value. But there would have been a lot more on the line then too. It's hard because it's past the statute of limitations, so I feel like. Yo, that Greg, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for the raid, man. Ways thank you, thank a lot, you, brother. In our opinion. Look at everyone. Hello. And even though Crane said that it shouldn't be an issue in the future, it still worries me that if we do move forward with not contesting the appeal based on his statement alone, based on no further investigation, will that be thrown back in our faces at a later date if that happens again? And somebody uses this as the foundation for that. Yeah. 
honestly, I I definitely feel a different way knowing that the person prosecuting was open to prosecuting. Uh, I'm I, I I see why he would be inclined, and I guess hearing it from his perspective definitely changes my outlook on it. I, I still want to talk to John Paul at the minimum and just tell him that, you know, no charges are coming your way, but I, I really need to know what's going on. Yeah. I, uh, I do want to try to see if he's around. Hope Academy was fun. Uh, oh, you just, you just finished Academy. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> what was that? Sorry. Do you want to see if he's around? I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to let you know. I have a weird feeling he probably won't be around these next few days. We can try. Let's take a look. <laughs> um. Let's take a look. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, he didn't we'll, answer. We'll, we'll catch him when we catch him. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it's it's gonna come down to just talking with him. I don't I don't even really want to talk to Xavier. Uh, do you feel like if we talk to uh Mr. Paul, he would be? I don't know. You know what? Let me let me talk to him. I, I I think I think the only thing on our plate now we we've spoken with Hall. We've spoken with Crane. I think all we need to do now is speak to, um, speak to John Paul. And once we speak to John Paul, I mean that's that's sort of you know. That's all we need to do now, and then I I I I think we're good. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> all right. Well, I guess I guess we'll we'll circle back if anything else comes up. Let me know. But overall, I think uh, I think I'm good. I think I think all my questions are answered, and I think we're kind of at the point now where most of our eggs are in line. Yeah. Well, perfect. Cool. Oh my god! I'm like, what did you send me a photo of? And it's a stupid fucking the interrogation document that someone wrote out. Mm -hmm. uh. the 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 whole confession document you sent me <clears throat> right what did i send you the uh oh oh the, yeah. yeah yeah i'm looking i'm like what is this and then i forgot yeah okay all right well I guess we'll circle back to it. We'll go from there. And if I hear anything, Gossip I, girl. Yeah. Who runs Gossip, Gossip Girl? Gal. I have no idea. But they're they're pain in the butt. We do what we gotta do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I get stuck in here, but I'm gonna return the call back to I think it was Tips that called me and go from there. All right. Um, Academy go good? Up, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I went fine. I brought this up to Ruby. She said that she's going to pass on the captains. Um, there was just a laundromat robbery. And okay. apparently, I didn't go, but apparently they had two getaway vehicles. And uh, the units unseen tried to negotiate with them to not use the second vehicle. I think they ended up using it. I think uh, I think we need to set a policy or a standard that if if they are uh, failing negotiations, we, um, we get aggressive. We one hundred percent get aggressive. That I, yeah, I feel like the, like I feel like that's not even a question. I I just think it needs to be like sort of a, like an announcement needs to be made that like it's PBS off the bat. Uh, up digression obviously not like high speed pits or high speed spikes or anything like that but you know just like immediate um you know pbs and um let them know hey, what's that up, this, is, doing? this is what is going to happen if they do this i don't think 
I mean, granted, maybe maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. I don't think we need to tell them what's going to happen. I think if they no, fail to no, negotiate, no, no. I think we they just get to we find don't need out. To tell, we don't, exactly. We don't need to tell them this is what's going to happen. It's just like they're this is what they're they should expect like they they will realize i think very quickly that we're not messing around i'll make an announcement at the shift three meeting about it i think it's important to bring up and let people know because i know not a lot of people especially in shift three get the opportunity to really negotiate and i think it's important for people to know how to go you know i i, I will tell people all the time i've been to two 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 different negotiations now where people have t said what they wanted and I've told them that your your demands are unreasonable and then they try and get close to the hostage and I've told them you do anything to those hostages we are going to shoot you you think you're in control you're not you hurt them we're shooting you and yeah. I, I've gotten very blunt with people and I've explained that negotiations are not a my way or the highway a negotiation is the back and forth so it's, it's literally it's called a negotiation yes, for a reason exactly it's not called demands it's uh, you know um we can grant you think, certain things but we can't give you the fucking world you know what i mean i think uh i think as as long as officers know that they have cards to play and that like you said that they're in charge it's not the other way around um it's all about not losing that control yeah But yeah, up to aggression, a hundred percent. Um, and obviously need to know that they can do that. And like, obviously, I guess just reiterate that it's not something because you know some people will hear Fever that. Fever dreams are a hell like, of a drug. Okay, oh God, Philip, you're okay, my drug. Hostage takers. If uh, <laughs> if you don't if you don't comply, it's gonna be PBS off the bat. No, don't tell them that. You know. Yeah, no, it, just, that's more for us to, to note. Okay, focus yeah, his vehicle, I, PBS off the bat, fucking send them into a wall, get as aggressive as you want. I'm just saying, maybe oh, yeah. maybe let officers know, like, don't tell them. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I I need to, I've already had to explain to one cadet that when somebody's already raised the aggression in negotiations, I know that our job right now is, you know, put simply, we gotta be nice, right? We, we have, we, we, we we have to show professionalism in the, in the case where somebody is like getting aggressive and claiming that it's my way or the highway, or I'm killing this hostage. I, I will up my aggression that's, too. That's, yeah, that's when I, mean, I step up because you need yeah. to regain that control. It's listen, you touch that hostage. I'm going to kill you. Now you could take that as a threat. That is a fucking promise. You touch that hostage. We have problems. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Immediately you regain control. My, my, my trigger discipline is good until you touch that hostage. So, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll talk to more people about that. Maybe I'll talk to the other seniors about maybe tr doing more training about in, uh, negotiations as well. I think it's good that people I, um, know, know how to do it. I think for, like, PPOs <clears throat> and cadets, uh, you know, it's, it's one thing for, like, me or you or some of the people who were cops a long time ago um but for these new people they they don't have the opportunity to get the repetition of negotiations and that's a big 100%. part of this job is is repetition and learning the basics through that um so i think you know doing doing training where we just i don't know go up to like a bank or something and practice negotiations and practice different situations isn't a bad idea i could bring and that up with the captains i think it would be healthy and good for everybody i don't necessarily think it needs to be part of academy but maybe just you know like we all take an hour and go do this um, i'm stinky you know i'm stinky a, a continued education is i on shit a bad myself thing. And I don't know, I personally feel, and, and this is something that, like, I brought up multiple times in Academy, that, <laughs> um... God damn it, how you doing, It's one Phil? thing for us to explain something, but it's another thing for us to, like, actually do the thing and show the cadets mm. how to do it, uh, and then have them do it based on, based on what they see, um... You know, you can explain something till you're blue in book. the face <laughs> and then ask them to do it. And they just, it, it's in one ear, out the other. But when they can see it and then they can like act upon it, I think it, I think it's going to stick more. 
Yeah, I, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Look, I, I'll, I'll talk to York about it, and I'll also bring it up with the other people. I already do negotiations how I, I think they should be done, and they're pretty much to that degree. But I think that maybe making that the standard is, is, is a good thing. Okay. Perfect. I'll give York a call, talk to her about it, and go from there. All right. Sounds good. All right, Kit. I will talk to you soon. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. Likewise. Awesome. I got, I got to go get food. I need food, Kit. Get food. You know, one of these days, we're all going to have a sodium OD because we're all eating chips. Or a caffeine overdose from all these energy drinks. <clears throat> <laughs> oh man uh actually do i have oh my god wait i, I do have oh god i'm so dumb everyone around me is sick i'm dodging now you know what's funny? I don't. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh man, I, I kind of don't mind getting sick every once in a while. It's been so long since I've been sick, but I'm not like against it. It depends, obviously, what people have. But like, if it's like, I don't know, if it's a common cold in your area and everyone's getting it, avoiding it just sucks. Because then eventually, when you do get it, it just really sucks. I'd rather just get that shit over with. I'm more, I, I will avoid, I will avoid getting sick if I can, but every once in a while, I'm like, man, just fucking get it over with. I'm tired of everyone around me being sick, except for me this time. You can't hide. Oh yeah. You're fucked. Oh my God. All right. Well, So you also grew up on chicken pox parties? I don't know if I grew up on a chicken pox party, but I definitely did grow up with the mindset that I went to a public school and I just accepted the fact that when you didn't want to get sick, you still got sick. Schools are... I'll tell you what. I think teachers probably have the best immune systems in the world. Kids fucking touch everything, dude. Uh, we got tips and frost and hit. All right. Let me see. What 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 did tips want? Be able to pick up those spikes and allow them to leave through that exit. Once they're ready, like hey, they're ready to go. Pick up the spikes. No, no, you know you can't do that, tips. Well, why is that? I just no. wanted to. I wanted to pick your brain. Because that's not. First of all, you would have to get approval from the scene commander, or the lead or from a senior plus, and none of us are going to tell you to put down spikes and wait for negotiations. N none of us will give you approval for that. It's, it's just not, it's just not what we do. Spikes are to be used uh, in certain situations. One, of course, being if pit box spike is approved on reckless evading vehicle. And of course, you know, if we're in Damn a situation Phil, blame the nephew. where someone is trying to escape with blame someone the nephew. that they shouldn't. Uh, in regard to the two, you know, going back to two vehicles r wanting to, you know, leave a laundromat, I would have, as soon as negotiations have broken down, again, as soon as we have the suspect in hand, I would have officers strategically placed at exits that we haven't blocked with mm. spikes because okay. they're being a-holes. Gotcha. Okay. I was just talking about this with Kit, actually, funny enough. The, the whole broken negotiations with two vehicles in my honest opinion in my professional opinion if i'm it, it, a negotiation is a back and forth a negotiation is an agreement between two parties if we agree that this is how you're going to do something and i'm going to accept that and you're going to understand that this is how i'm accepting it and then you go against that i'm getting aggressive off the bat right if if you tell me you're getting in one vehicle and you get in two after we've agreed that you're not getting in two, I, I'm personally approving PBS. You so you, you, issue... you you've now broken negotiations. 
the issue is that they said there's six of us. There's no way we can escape in one vehicle. We're taking two. That was on them. That's that's their fuck up. I, I agree. I <laughs> agree. But then they say, well, now we got to kill the hostage dumb fucks. Now what are you going to do? Well, then we would just shoot them down. If they yeah. shot, if if they shot that hostage, we open fire. If they knife that hostage, we open fire. I mean, yeah, of, of that's course. a one-way door. So and and have that's to yeah, sit that's, that building. But the, but this is what they're saying, right? It's like, how about you know, we're gonna kill this hostage if you don't allow us to leave in two cars. So it's, it's like. What the, are we supposed to say? No, you're only going to leave in one. The, uh, it works both ways, behind. you know. They have to understand that um, it's on their bad if they if they if they don't take precautions. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Right, but they, they, they're going to just keep getting away with it. How do we prevent it? You know. They, uh, unfortunately, this is going to sound really bad, and I I, I get it. The hostage's life is always priority. But it's yeah, also no, it's also not our job to make sure that suspects and criminals are <laughs> are setting up properly for their robbery. That's not my my job. Right. My yeah. job is not to make sure that you come prepared. My job is to, is is to save that hostage. If you fail to prepare to all leave in one vehicle, that's a damn fucking shame. You should have probably gotten a bigger vehicle. Yep. Yeah. If, and now I'm willing, yeah. I would be willing to negotiate to find you a new vehicle. That is something that I would be okay with in some situations, but I'm not making that the new standard. I'm not making you show up in a panto and have me look for a fucking six seater. I, I just, I don't see that being a, a, a viable solution. My viable solution is, listen, do not harm that hostage. You didn't come prepared. We got to figure something else out. Because I'm not, I'm not letting you leave in two vehicles. That's something that we can't do. If we don't, especially if you don't have the units. I mean, I, I, at that point, what do we do? So, it, well, that that's what it comes down to. If if we fail to negotiate, then yeah, sometimes we have to breach. Very long time ago, just 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 for context, it was, it was the first time I had ever been promoted. And tips, I believe you were on the scene, and it was a very awkward situation. It was a bank robbery in Polito. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we How negotiated. Yep. We negotiated that they are to get free passage and to leave Polito. And they got in a vehicle. They handed over the hostage and we gave them enough time to call and set up more hostages at another bank. We feel they broke negotiations. And after a very stressful decision, we told them you come out or we come in. And that was the end of it. I mean, it's not its not the solution I always want. Do I think this is going to be a problem? No. But I also don't want to make this the new standard. Because it's, it's just, it's not going to happen. This is, this, I don't think we should, I don't think we should be allowing people to bring two vehicles and making that a comfortable standard because they can't fit all, their, all, all of their criminals into one vehicle. At that point, we are now essentially encouraging the precedent that you should just bring two vehicles because half your party will, will get away Scott free is how they're going to view it. Personally, I think it, it, we, we keep it simple. We keep it straight and narrow. If you didn't come prepared, that's not my problem. We should probably negotiate for something else. If you didn't come prepared, if they can't, if they can't take that and they can't accept that we, we don't, we're not going to allow two vehicles and that's, that's on them. I did kind of butt in the middle of this conversation. I do apologize, but it's okay. I think it's a productive conversation, right? No, no definitely. Sorry. Yeah, it is a conversation. I'm going to type up a command report about it and see if we can get it pushed into an announcement. Uh, I'm also, if you're interested, and I, I, sorry, tips, I can't share this with you, but I'm putting up a command report about something very interesting. Uh, but at the moment, it's to be kept extremely, um, extremely quiet, Flop. Okay, um, that's fine. It's okay. Ruby doesn't trust me, Flop. It's all right. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. got nothing no. to do with that. It's okay. It's I'm fine. doing, it's I'm doing, doing my job. I don't, I don't trust, that, I don't I don't trust that mustache, Tips. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you shouldn't trust mine. Mm. Um...
Yeah, that's fine. Let me take a look. Did you already put it up or no? Yeah, let me let me take a look. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Shit. Well, things are about to get That's interesting crazy. for us. Uh, was it, uh, York, was this handed to you from this person? Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. I can't believe it. I mean, who would have imagined it? So the, the, the <laughs> tips, I hate you. Um, the only thing that I have, uh, where is it? This part? Is it, is it only when this happens? Mm. Uh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you two just type to each other in the report? There, I'll I'll change it to slash. But okay, yeah. okay. So not not at the initial. Not the. I'll I'll, I'll type this out. Hold on. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone, is what I've been told. No, they they don't need to register. Oh, okay. That it is going to be removed. If you have a look at the photo, you will see um, what we can see. Does that make sense? Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> That's your coffee tips. So tasty. Uh, tips, you're my favorite fucker. You know that? I know. Got it. Okay. So, okay. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's huge. That's good. Okay. Uh, your, if slash when you make the command report regarding, uh, negotiations, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will put in my two cents about that and kind of make okay. my, my point because I, I i do think that bearing perspectives on this is good but i do have a very strong opinion about negotiations so okay i'd be curious to hear how the, the captains have a response and other seniors have a response All right, Tips is Tips is such a fucker. I love him so much. He he's like, this is just good company. Should we ride with Tips today? We could. Tips, you want to ride for a little bit today? Sure, let's do it. Okay, I just got on duty. I just I, I need to. I gotta get sure. out of the out of the jail. While, while I'm free. Unless, unless, York, do you need me? No, you're fine. I'm just, I've I wrapped up uh, Academy. Go good? Um, Yeah, we did good. We did good. good. And then I just got a couple of reports I need to write. I, I love York. She's so good. Yeah, uh, you, I think it was all good. You need me for anything else? I think I've... Uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, do you tell Flop about the blood? Yeah, just so he's aware uh, for his shift. <laughs> We've been finding uh, a lot of blood in just random uh, dumpsters around town. 
Yeah, people are picking up a lot of. I, I I've stopped three people now. Interestingly, How? I I don't know. People are just finding it and they're finding it on the ground. They're picking it up. And what I'm thinking is, so is is the blood a charge? Because I tried to tell somebody that it was. That's evidence like tampering with evidence. Yeah, yeah. But it, but if. So I heard that EMS have flashlights, mm -hmm. and if they turn theirs on, they sometimes see blood on the ground, but they can't do anything about it. So interestingly enough, a lot of people. So some people are telling me that they they're like walking up to it and they're just picking it up, apparently. Yeah, but there's only certain ways to find it, the blood on the ground. You know, we have the UV, uh, you know, yeah. flashlights. So first of we all, have... I don't know why EMS needs those. I don't know, but here, here's what I think is going on. And maybe this is something that we need to... Uh, maybe, maybe a ball union, George? Uh, but the uh the i have walked to like the bay city bank and sometimes i'll just see little of our Did I just have a stroke what is a ball union george think about it took me a minute i got it um oh oh man tips i gotta spell everything out um so i've like i've gone to the bay city bank to grab my my my, my paycheck and i have seen you know, our, our, our little scene cards for blood at the front door and for other like, I, but I, I see them in a lot of places. And I think maybe sometimes some people just pick them up on old scenes. I could be wrong, but I've never pulled out my flashlight at the Bay City Bank to, you know, see that laying on the ground. I just think some people are seeing it and going, oh, picking it up. And what ha what's happening is it's, it's hard to actually prove if it's from an active scene or if it's from something old but regardless yes i agree people shouldn't be picking it up does that rectify the idea that it's being left on scenes and maybe some people are able to just walk up and snatch them i don't know well here's the thing right it could be happening let's say at the hospital or senior buns right you know places where a lot of blood is usually found and sometimes people may whip out a flashlight or two now as far as I know, we're the only ones who can pick up initial evidence. Like, but if if it's dropped, then I guess anybody can pick it up, right? We may just have to ask someone next time we see someone on the ground, hey, can you see this? And hey, can you pick it up and hand it to me? Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? If, if you we know happen I, to see it. You know what I just realized? I think I have a solution already, and I think that this might be actually our fault. <laughs> what? Bring back the trash locker. No. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't be against that. Um, how do I say this? So, when when we are done casing a scene, sorry, just uh, I'll be. This is Ruby. Can you believe Ruby hates me? No, she doesn't hate you, but I forgot. Yeah, she, I she forgot we had this. Same with my gut. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> it's it, it's so we can clear evidence. Richard Tips. Whoa. Is it sick, man? Maybe Whoa. we should maybe we should be clearing evidence before we're leaving scene. Wait, maybe we should go to the hospital and try that out, see if it works. I mean, we we can just test it now. I thought you were going to shoot me. Okay. Oh, Wait, well, tase me. Thank fuck. I didn't pull my goddamn taser. Hold on. Tase me. You might get some blood out of me. So if I do that, hold on. So, so you, you, you see this. Yeah. 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 I'm curious. Ooh, that's okay. We have to. Okay. I'll just I'll just clean it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Bye. 
Damn. What are you doing? What is he doing? Testing a way to clear evidence, you know. So we used to we used to we used to clear our evidence. But I'm just realizing now that we don't clear our evidence that way anymore. Huh? Yeah. We used to we don't clear the evidence like we used to. We, we we used to just be able to walk through with a broom and just sweep it all away. Um within the vicinity that we were casing. Where is it? What do you mean? The broom? What? No, the... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, the I'm, evidence? I... Oh, we, we, we just cleaned it up. Yeah, I... so you can either pick it Here, up... Here, I'll... I'll... Or which, yeah. you, which picks up every little bit of evidence yeah. in a small area, or you can clear it up, which only clears out one bit of evidence in a small area, and it takes like a minute. So, ju ju just for context, so... There's a casing here. My, my my point that I was making is we, we have the opportunity to, to clear up evidence and if evidence is there We so a Long time ago, we used to be able to take a broom sweep it all away, right? Now it's it, it, it what do you mean? We can still do that Right, we, we just try it. with the broom, you know Watch your broom no, and try it. It can't use the broom anymore. I know that. Mm -hmm. Just wash it. What do yeah, you mean? Yeah, but like we could clear like multiple pieces of evidence at the same time. So for 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 context, yeah. For for context, um, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, well, these are kind of far away. Yeah, it's here. So you're okay. It's here. I mean, I can put them. Yeah, if together. they were closer, you could uh, clean up let, a few let me try at here. one what? time. All right, try now. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. You fired blanks. No, oh. this, should, this should happen. This should happen before. Uh, where McNulty thought I was shooting blank tasers, but I wasn't. Yeah. Really? Mm. That's not blank tasers. When it does that sound? No. So yeah. So, what 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 I'm saying though is. I guess it doesn't matter because it, it's not a, it's not even just our scenes. It's the hospital too. If someone's you know bleeding, if someone pulls out a flashlight, right? And if one unlucky fool pulls out a flashlight, yeah, it's all over. Yeah, my 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 reasoning doesn't make sense then because now now we're stuck dealing with. Okay. So if EMS have these uv flashlights and they're able to get a closer look at blood and stuff it, it does it does leave leave me to wonder how we get rid of the problem maybe mm. if that's true it would be hard to prove if it was from a scene it, if if ems also have this flashlight yeah. simply yeah, and if AMS are just picking up every little piece of evidence uh, at the hospital and then just throwing away in a random dumpster, that's the problem the is that that could also be used the other way now because now if somebody is actually trying to fuck with our scene, we we wouldn't be able to prove it, quote unquote, unless we yeah. physically witnessed it. I guess we could just go ask an EMS to fire a taser and let me see if they can pick it up. Yeah, that might be worth it. This is always something I could bring up with the uh, with slacks as well directly and just ask them about it. If this is something that we think could be a problem, yeah. it shouldn't be happening. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go grab new taser cartridges because I realized my taser was empty like a bozo. Oh, I got you. No, no, no. I got you. Oh, you do? Oh, thank you. You got me some darts? Dart me up. Oh, my. <laughs> Thanks for. Thanks I for... split those in half, by the way. Why do you have so many? Just in case. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Never, never, never. <laughs> never, 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 ever, ever, never. Yeah, maybe, maybe we need to go talk to DMS. Just ask him what's going on. See if maybe yeah, they sure. know and uh, see if we can try and get a better solution. Because I, I do think we need a better solution for this. Because if EMS are also pulling out the flashlights, then yeah. Yeah. While while I, I I don't think I need to really explain it, but while I understand 
it also leaves me with question as well. So. Yeah, fuck it. Also, Ruby, is that your husband? What? <laughs> Sitting on the wall. Hi, Frost. Hello. You okay? The other front. Yeah, I'm just waiting. What are you waiting for? York. Finish the report. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh my god. I, I think you're right. <clears throat> hey, 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 you hey, hey, Ruby. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. hey. Rust, hey, bring it in. <laughs> what do you mean? Buddy, hey. Bring hey. it in. Hey. Hey. Did you hear that? We gotta go That's in. Right. Oh, good to oh. see you. Jesus yeah, Christ. Good to see you as well, Tips. All right. Uh, hey. It's been a while. Tips. Let's let, let's get out there. We're uh, we're cop stacking right now. We should we should get the heck out there. Yeah. Let's get the flipping hell fuck out. Yeah. Of here. Yeah. York, you, you take care. If you need anything, you let me know. Okay. Oh. York. York. Yeah, it's just taking it all in. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking it all in. <laughs> okay. You can do that all when right. you're off duty, ma'am. <laughs> what? I'm out of here. Hey, no, 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 no. Go back. You apologize. You apologize right now. Why are they acting what like that? Mean? Why did you put them up to you? No, 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 no. Get out and apologize. I have no idea what he means. <laughs> Ruby, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. One depth, three depths, five. Five. Oof. Fifteen. <laughs> Make it 20. 15 is two, 10 is the top. I'll take a 30. <laughs> Dash. Go catch some criminals. All right. <laughs> you guys uh, take care. Appreciate you. you see see ya. She'll be taking it all in. Right. Oh, all right. my God. All right. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to fucking throw up. <laughs> Consensual marital sex. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting! You ever watch a movie? Hey, what, what is this? The 1800s? <laughs> you better be going to a goddamn call. You just got off that truck. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm always acting like I'm going to a call, right? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Oh, you just could have just gone out in the bush. No. 125 radio check. Thank you. Dispatch 125 1041 operating under 190. Uh, going to be 10 6 hospital, two mics. Hello? Keith, I need to talk to you. Oh, Hi. okay. Do you have a flashlight on you? Yeah. Pull it out. We we need your help. <laughs> what about? Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna pull out my flashlight. I don't think ours do the thing anymore. No, just anymore? How 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 recently? All right, pull out your flashlight for me. Uh, I noticed it a couple days ago. Okay, can so you you're... uh, can you pick that up? No. You can't. Interesting. Nope. Okay. I cannot pick it up. Uh, I'm going to be doing an experiment real quick. All right. I do have a call. Yep. Go ahead. You're fine. All right. <laughs> Keith, are you going to be around after storm? Probably not. Damn. Okay. I'm leaving that there. I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing. I'm a man of science. And I'm... I'm a man of cum. Hmm. Hell to the brim. What can I say? All right. What's up, Antal? What is this? 
Oh my god, it's a mask! A mask? A mask! Oh my god, it's a fucking mask! <laughs> um, <clears throat> alright. Yeah. It gets dicey on some calls, you know, when they want two cars. I feel bad because if they put themselves in a situation with six people to show up in two cars, and now they, they're being told they can only leave with one, it's just going to make them upset. Well, yeah, but we also, I, the problem is that we, we would be setting the precedent that we're okay with this and setting we up we for two cars. Today. <laughs> well, moving forward, that's not going to be the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck happened to this car? I think this is one of those. Uh, Dispatch 190. Uh, show us out with an abandoned supercar. Green in color off of Elgin Ave. Nearest cross, Vespucci. What's up, Dino? Probably gonna lurk. You are all good. You do your thing. I think this is one of those Mosley cars. Maybe. It is kind of abandoned. It is blocking an entrance. Yeah. All right, that's marked. This is a good song. It's not really a song. It's just more like a. Uh, How you been, Tips? I've been okay. Country six thirty-eight. A black ink is occupied one time westbound Bay City Ave. What's the plate Bay City of that? Ave doesn't go What's west. The last three. Uh, seven, Charlie. You okay? I believe it's a yeah. I, so, uh. Let's spin it out. Have fun. I know. Spinning out. This will guard nothing. Spinning out. Good. Oh, man. Um. How have I been? I think good. I think, uh, today was a good example of, uh, me being ready for more than what I am now. In terms of? Leadership. My man. Yeah. Tips, you give me uh, you give me good leadership energy. You I put please. you I put you where like I, I I think I think you got it in ya. To get that promo. Yeah. Well probably to you know officer. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been the thirty days. I don't know when something is supposed to happen. Because I've never seen someone be promoted to an officer yet. It's happened. I'm not going to say who or what, but it's, it's, ha well, let me see if it was confirmed. I, I know, I know someone was brought up. Bear with was me. it a need No. Oh. It was. It was. Please hold on. Um. Let me confirm it first. Um. Ooh, hold on. Ew. Are you going to at least give me a vague description of what's going on? Uh, uh, hold on. Oh, okay. 152 traffic. West on East Road with a black. You know, oh. we, should get, we should get them one of these the next okay. time. Wanna... Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. I thought we were the like under the assumption of something. It was just someone's trying to sue a cop. That's all. Who cares? Oh, okay. More bullshit. Gotcha. Is it Johnson? I know he's been uh, trying to sue us. <laughs> no, it's not Johnson. Just notice those fucking windmills up there. You see those? You know what's so weird? What? 
opening up a command report and seeing another color line of text every time i open up a command report it's always aldo jackson uh. um okay so i don't know if they were actually brought in yet uh so i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it kind of for now mm. but all i'm gonna say is people mm, i don't know yeah fuck it whatever all right yeah now uh so what was the original question that led to this i don't remember uh it wasn't really a question it was more like a comment like you know i feel like i'm ready for officer just waiting past the 30 day period yeah. i don't know what the process was i'm gonna say this and i'm only gonna say this people have been brought up and i have been asked about how i felt about certain people 